Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another garden project. So I am here, I've got some footage from earlier in the season because it is late. A lot of our things are literally dying back to finally do the sweet alyssum comparison. We planted three different types this year. We planted two from Proven Winners that are supposed to bloom steadily, get huge, come back in our zone. So the real, the real test will be next season and one that I grew from seed. And for a comparison, the one from Proven Winners down here, the princess, um, is still blooming. Very, very little, very, very sparse, but she is. The one I grew from seed has a smidge of green, but really hasn't been blooming or having green on it for at least a couple months now. It's January. Um, the prince variety, actually looks the best for me of all three varieties but i honestly think that is because of its location the three that i have are in the full sun across the way and they still have some green and some blooms across all three plants it gets really really hot here i'm in alabama and so I was told that these little sweet alyssums would do better in the shade. And I think that is not true. My mom, we will go over to see hers next. She has the ones I grew from seed and the big princess variety right beside her front steps in the full sun. And they are still carpeted with blooms, even in January. So I think next year we may try more of these in the sun and less in the shade because we were told um, with some research that they would really uh, do best with a bit of shade in the heat of the summer and even hers in the heat of the summer in the full sun just kept going just kept blooming so let's pop over I'd like you to see a really good comparison of hers um, and that will give you a better idea of how they look side by side but in the sun her plants the princess variety definitely has more flowers has more blooms, still looks better, but even the ones we grew from seed looks good compared to my little dead plants here. <laughs> and we're only 10 minutes apart, so there's really no rhyme or reason other than location of full sun versus partial sun as to why one plant would do better than the other. So at mom's house, here is a sweet alyssum that I grew from seed. As you can see, it is huge, it is blooming, it is still alive compared to the ones at my house. But here is the Proven Winners uh, Snow Princess and the amount of blooms that this one has compared to this one is at least double. But they are still blooming. They are still beautiful. They both are a, you know, comparable size, honestly. On the other side of the walkway where she has her other two, the one we grew from seed here is not doing as well, but it is getting, you know, encroached on by the lantana and the lizards. And the snow princess, again, is thriving. So... I have to try the snow princess more in the sun at my house next year because this is what I wanted. Big, beautiful white blooms. So there it is, a full comparison after a year of growth. The princess variety from 
uh, proven winners definitely is the winner in comparison to the number of blooms and how long it has lasted at mom's house and mine still has a few here. Um, the real test will be next season if they come back, if they stay in bloom and if the one I grew from seed comes back. Now, as far as price goes, um, I can start plenty more from seed to grow all over my garden. And in the full sun, they're still going to do really well. But if those princess plants come back year after year, you don't have to replant them all the time. That's probably worth the investment. Leave me a comment down below how these perform in your garden and if you would rather uh, purchase the plants or start them from seed. I hope this is helpful if you've been looking at sweet alyssum, especially in the south, and I will see you all next time. Bye.